Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Adams, a uh, developer and director of the Overcoming Enmeshment Workshops and Services. We are at our 10-year anniversary of uh, the workshops here at the end of 2023. And over the years, and hundreds, almost a thousand men and women from all around the globe, including different cultures, have come into the workshops. A few questions have emerged that need clarity. One of them is that comes up frequently is, isn't codependency the same thing as enmeshment? The short answer is no, uh, they are not the same, although there is some overlap. When we talk about codependency, codependency is a term used for many, many years now, particularly in the recovery uh, circles, the recovery community, but even beyond that, refers to behavior patterns that are sacrificial, approval seeking, fear of rejection from others. Uh, they may come from family systems where there is abuse or neglect or um, even enmeshment, where there's a loss of a true identity and it leads them to be over-focused on the needs and the welfare of others at a cost of themselves. Certainly that particular piece is similar to adults who have been enmeshed with a parent or family, uh, where the identity is organized around the needs of the others. But there's some particular um, parts of that story or that issue around enmeshment that are distinctly different from codependency. I want to lay that out for you. So uh, enmeshment is uh, what refers to um, uh, too much entanglement between the adult child and the family member or parent in which um, the adult feels burdened with obligatory guilt uh, and feels loyal to the parent, absorbs the parent's problems, at a cost to their own, as well as a cost and undermining of the romantic relationship with a partner. In that case, or in that situation, the guilty obligatory demand uh, that's involved with enmeshment is particularly unique to enmeshed systems, where love is transactional, meaning that I love you, but you owe me. I love you, but you're obligated to me. I love you and don't go too far. You should feel guilty if you do. And that, that's a distortion of love. And enmeshed systems distort the concept of love by making it transactional and obligatory. Love is supposed to be freely given. Recovery from codependency and recovery from enmeshment have some similarities. Uh, one similarity is that coming into who you really are, your true identity. I say yes when I mean yes, and I say no when I mean no. Uh, having boundaries, all that can be part of both the codependency uh, recovery as well as an enmeshment recovery. What the recovery for enmeshment uh, involves that's different than codependency is the critical um, job of redefining love, right? Love is not transactional. It also means ending, uh, we might even say divorcing, contractual arrangements with the parent or family that obligate you at a cost to the rest of your life and reordering the contractual arrangement between you and your heart space with your family so that your loyalty first is to yourself and then to your partner, uh, romantic partner, your kids if you have them, your careers, your own journey, your emancipation. After all, uh, that's what we're all trying to do is to emancipate and become and unfold who we really are in our lives. Um, and uh, with parents who don't demand um, obligation and loyalty out of guilt, they celebrate your independence. So in enmeshment recovery, this ending of contractual arrangements do, that serve the parent and the family at a cost to yourself is unique to enmeshment recovery, different than codependency. So be reassured, you can both be separate and emancipated from your parents and your family, and you can still love them.